All right, guys, now we're gonna do the sorting process. We're gonna start by going and getting our baskets. So we're gonna grab our baskets. We're probably gonna need about three of them. So we're gonna bring those over here. Okay, as you guys can see, I've got my baskets laid out, one for blankets, one for sheets, and one for towels. It's usually about what my client has. All right, guys, we are going to sort these first bags. Sheets. You always wanna make sure to shake everything because sometimes my client has little bitty Robes that look like this stuck with Velcro all inside the blankets and sheets. And I think we're gonna need one more basket. Okay, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but this little spoon fell out. So that will go into a plastic bag and that will be given back to the client with her name. We're gonna stick all the racks and towels into this bin here. So she's only have a couple blankets for me today, so I think there's only gonna be one more somewhere. Always separate your sheets so that they don't get tangled up in the washer and dryer. Again, more Velcro robes, Velcro head pieces. I do bleach the white towels with the robes. And with orders like this one, you cannot pre-weigh them because my client always sends towels that are wet. So therefore they're gonna weigh more if you pre-weigh them. So I absolutely have to wash and dry them before I weigh them. We're going to do bag two. I've located the third blanket. Very tangled. They do this twice a week. They send me big bags of blankets and sheets and towels for their business. plastic bags I always discard but the material mesh bags that they send their clothing in you should always wash them fold them pack them and return them so we'll wash those with the colored towels and always be sure to see I almost left something white in there because it has velcro make sure it doesn't get stuck so as you can see we've got four baskets total to wash so let's go over here. You're always going to want to use Puracil or Tide detergent, um, the approved brands on the Sudshare website. I also offer my clients other options. I have softener. I use scent beads, dryer sheets, all of the good stuff. It does cost a little more, but my clients tip very well. And I absolutely love to provide good service. As you see, I have a very large capacity washer and dryer um i can fit quite a bit this customer requested laundry sanitizer as you can see i have the sanitizer there for her and um we will be going ahead and getting started i could actually fit my robes in with my sheets which i probably will do just to reduce one load since it's all white um so that's an option as well since i have a large capacity washer and dryer so I will let you guys know when I get to folding. I also wanted to mention that when you get ready to start your loads, it's going to request you to take a photo of the detergent you're using to verify it's the correct kind. So I will add those slides um, <clears throat> at the end of the video here. 
so that you guys can see what they look like as we work to the uh, folding steps. And there you guys go. I've broken down all the steps for you guys for the separating and folding process. Hopefully it made it a little bit easier for you. And when we get done, well, you know, washing and drying and all of that good stuff, then I will run you guys through the folding and packing and weighing process. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great and Merry Christmas.